you know I really do videos I I try as much as possible to stay positive but the events of the past few days have been torturing have been tormenting and what kills me the most is that my society our country is just so numb as if whatever is happening in Libya does not affect us all they call them West African migrants, but to be honest, over 70% of these young men being sold into slavery are Nigerian young men and women who are running away from poverty, who are running away from hunger, who are running away in an economy where the upper class and the rich class remain richer, where the average Nigerian cannot put food on their table. And it just begs the question, where is the outrage? Why is Nigerian society so mute or so immune to this immorality? These are your brothers and sisters being sold into slavery. These are young, able-bodied men who think by the time they cross the ship to get to Europe, the grass will be greener there. Yes, they are ignorant to embark on such voyage. I don't think anybody wants to go gamble their life. I don't think so. But what pains me the most is that I have gone through almost every celebrity. My colleagues, I don't see any one of you addressing these issues. God gave you that position to be the mouthpiece of the people, to use your platforms to speak truth to power. But it's so unfortunate that most of you have sold your conscience. You have spread your legs to every goddamn freaking politicians. So you have no moral authority to call them out. The people are looking up to you. When you inform, when you use your platform to educate your followers, changes will happen. But it's sad. I remember a young man called to face Edibia, wanted to lead a protest. How many of you gave him your support? <laughs> you did not. All you do, you think, oh, because I don't care. They can jump their ship. It's them. They should remain in Nigeria and do whatever. All right. Yeah. We all come from somewhere. Because fortune smiled on us doesn't mean every other Nigerian is as lucky as you and I. When you live in your mansions in Lekki, you have all the connections to the big daddies, to the senators. I want you to remember there are average Nigerians who cannot put a meal on the table. All I see on social media is you displaying your first class, your Louis Vuitton, your Range Rover. Fuck you all. You are all bed sharing with the devil. If you cannot begin to use your platform to address the injustice in society, the poverty affecting Nigerians, may posterity judge you all. And for Nigerian youth, una mumu don't do. Wake up. All I see is you people, the instant blog and all these crazy, ill-informed idiots put posts and cause rancor. You spend all your data insulting people you don't know. But yet when it comes to issues that affect your life and future, you don't speak up. When it comes to trivia issues, you boo ha 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 ha. When did we become a frozen generation? When did we become a nation where we can no longer speak truth to power? I weep for my generation. I weep for my country, Nigeria. I am asking the Buhari's administration, what initiatives are you taking 
to address the crisis in Libya. If this were to be a Fulani headsman being chased out from one place, you will send your DSS or your whatever. But I'm not seeing any of that. You are not sending them. No foreign policy. Wow. This is disheartening. The painful part is if only the virus people put them to labor. We are resilient people. Most of these people are being raped, they are being murdered, their organs are being extracted and sold in the black market. This can be your brother or your sister. This can be your nephew. There is hunger in the land. There is poverty in the land. Our schools are not functioning. It's only in Nigeria a senator makes millions of naira or what have you. An average teacher cannot be paid. An average doctor or oh, hospital is not equipped. When we will begin to demand justice from our elected officials? When? 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 We are so used to politics of identity, politics of religion, politics of my uncle, my cousin. And collectively we suffer. I ask you, do you know how many mothers that can't even give a count of where their child, son or daughter is? Have you seen the heinous pictures of bodies being moved from their And yet my people remain silent. But if you were to be a senator who lavishes or sprays cars on social media, you will see million views. People hailing him. Baba o Baba laye. The same idiots you're hailing are using your money, your parents' pension, money made or meant for your local government, roads, they are using it. Instead of you to demand accountability for them, you hail and praise them. You become election thugs. And after election, they don't freaking care who you are. May posterity judge you all. May posterity judge you all. And it's sad. I used to grow up in the 90s during Abache's regime. I saw how Christian Association of Nigeria under Bishop Okoje, the Cardinal, fought for justice. So they don't even know what can is or what they're up to. All you see are men of God flying private jets with armed security. And you call yourself a servant of God? No, you're a servant of slavery and a servant of money. How many schools are you building? Even when you build your covenant universities and all the stuff, an average parishioner that goes to your church, their church can, the children can afford to go there. You have used religion to bastardize the brains of Nigerians. Everything is God. God has given you the wisdom. God will not do for man what he has given man the ability to do for himself. Too much religiosity in Nigeria, yet their hearts are far from God. I'm so ashamed. When we used to hear of Christians, missionaries, God, glory, and greed. That was the quote of the missionaries. Why they bought us and sold us. Those who still brought good news, education. Nigerian youth should wake up and demand for justice. This is too. I am asking the Buhari's administration, please do something. Rescue this young man from Libya. I am calling on our policy makers. You can no longer stay silent. You can no longer stay silent. Nigerian youths are dying on the high sea. Nigerian youths are being sold. I'm calling on my colleagues, every actor, please use your voice. Create awareness and demand social reform in Nigeria.
kill you. This is sad. Am I hurt? Please. This is sad. Every Nigerian out there should be outraged. The fact that we're all comfortable. Wow. <laughs> it is saddening. Share this video. Have a reflection and ask yourself if the red to be my brother. I do. If that girl were to be my sister, we'll probably have sold everything they have.